What's up y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Jets Fishing Adventures. We're out here at the lake in my hometown. We're going to do a, a, a special video today. Top three baits for the month of March. Um, this month, the weather's getting nice, the water's warming up, and the fishing's getting great. Water can range, temp can range anywhere from the like the low 50s to, to even the low 60s, depending on where you're at in the country. I live in Tennessee, so we're going to mainly focus on the, the water temp ranging around that 50 to the high 50s, depending on what lake, how clear, what kind of, um, if you have rock in the lake. But without further ado, let's get into this video. All right. So my number one favorite bait for this month has to be a chatterbait. Um, this is actually a jackhammer with a Torrent Outdoors Thresher 4.2 on the back. This is my one of my favorite combinations. The jackhammer, if you if you've ever been in the fishing industry, is a staple. You can, it has won tournaments all over the country. I love this little bait. You can catch some giant fish. It's so versatile. You can fish it around rocks. If you have the right trailer, which I like the Torrent Thresher. It's got kind of a flatter bottom so it don't roll over on top of laydowns. If you got the right trailer, you can fish it around laydowns without getting hung up. It's just an, an all around versatile or versatile bait. You can fish it rock bottom, around laydowns, on points. A lot of people, and I like love doing this, fishing around grass flats with it. Um, some of the retrieves that I enjoy doing is just to cast out and just straight retrieve, put a little bit of a a little bit of rod action in it. You can do it on the grass flats. You can actually throw it out and let it sink to the grass and then rip it out of the grass, reel it back in, rip it, and just do a yo-yo effect. This time of year, you can catch some of your biggest fish around the grass flats, around mud flats, and a chatterbait is one of my all-time favorite ways to catch them. The rod that I use is an iRod Genesis Snyder Snipe. May um, my good buddy Russ Snyder actually um, designed this rod for reaction style baits. This is a really good rod. It's got backbone, but then also has a real good tip on it. As you can see, got the backbone and the tip. With chatter baits, he's got a big hook on it. So you want to be able to get a good hook set, but with that big hook, they can throw it a lot easier. So you want to have a rod that has a little bit of a give so when they shake, when they head shake, they don't just rip out of their mouth. And also, you have this big blade in front of this bait. So when a fish grabs it and you go to set the hook, a lot of times that blade pop, will pop the mouth open on that fish. So having a, a, a rod with a little bit of give will make it a lot easier for that fish to grab it a little more before you set the hook. A couple of my favorite chatterbaits is of course the staple in the industry is a jackhammer and then um you have the brand new z-man elite this little bait right here has really surprised me i like it a lot recently um it's actually become probably my new favorite since i released it last year it's it's only ten dollars and it has a lot of the same aspects as the jackhammer but half the cost in a lot of instances my second favorite, um, sometimes the fish won't hit a jackhammer because a jackhammer does get fished a lot. So one of my favorite ways when that bite gets a little finicky with the jackhammer is switch to a thunder cricket uh, strike king. Um, this is actually in their fire crawl color. This time of year, you want to kind of use like red fire crawl baits. A lot of shad patterns as we get into the later part of march into april bluegill pattern will start kind of playing in too chatterbait will always be my number one i love fishing a chatterbait that's actually with the spunk shad the hog farmer spunk shad trailer but my favorite chatterbait of all would have to be the jackhammer with a any color but with a torn outdoor thresher 4.2 my number two bait, and you'll see me throw a lot on this channel, is actually a square bill. I love fishing a square bill. Definitely during this time of year, a red square bill, you can't beat them. 
I kind of hate talking about this bait because I've won a lot of money this time of year on a square bill. But a lot of people kind of sleep on it sometimes. If you're gonna fish it, I actually slept on it for a long time myself. It gets hung up a lot, but any bait with treble hooks, you're gonna get hung up. So this is my number two. The rod that I like throwing it on is a Mojo Bass St. Croix, seven foot one medium. It's got a real nice tip on it. It's got a moderate action on it. So with any treble hook baits, you want to have a kind of a moderate rod. That way you you can still get the hooks set, but it gives a lot so you don't rip the hooks out. And also you give it time for the fish to actually eat it. This is actually an H2O um, square bill. It dives about four or five foot. And depending on what line you have, you can actually get it down a little bit deeper. I'm throwing it on a um, Shimano SLX 70, MGL 70. And I actually have 12 pound Invisex Seaguard. <clears throat> I love this little combo. It's real good. You get a pretty good, um, pretty good distance out of throwing it, and it handles fish really well. This reel is actually six to three as well. You don't want a fast um, reel because you don't. You want a kind of a, a more of a, a wrenching reel. Nothing that's real fast because you'll just blow it out of the water. You, you won't let fish be able to grab it. So that's my number two pick for the month of March. If you can't tell already, March has a lot of reaction style baits and actually that's all I'm gonna talk about. You, in some instances, you have to slow down, but uh, I like to cover a lot of water this time of year because a lot of times the fish will kind of group up in certain areas. And once you can find a few, you'll catch a lot back to back. They're gonna be setting a lot on like secondary points. They won't be all in the back of creeks yet but mainly you can look for channel swings and like secondary points, like brush piles and all that. It's a great way to fish. What I look for when I'm fishing a square bill is a lot of kind of um, rocky flats, secondary points, like I just said. Um, I, I don't tend to fish it around lay downs, but you can. Um, square bill's really good about not getting hung up. I just try to look for like little irregularities in the water, like little rocky points that that's coming out on banks. And any rock transitions a lot. I catch a lot of good fish on the transition banks. So that's my number two bait for March. And that's kind of a hard one to give away, but y'all are my friends, so I'll have to tell you some of my secrets. So for my number three bait, I'm not a fan of it, but it catches fish. And I can't make a March video without talking about this bait and that is a lipless crankbait. If anybody fishes this time of year and if you watch any video this time of year, they will always talk about a lipless crankbait. So this is actually a Bill Lewis. He was kind of the very first lipless ever to be invented. And it's probably one of the best. It's got good hooks from the factory. With a lipless bait, you find a lot of people that fishes it around grass flats but in my, I like fishing around mud flat. You can catch a lot of fish this time of year on a lipless. A lot of tournaments are won this time of year. My number three pick has to be this bait. It's not my favorite, just cause I don't really have, I, I've been looking around for good rods to throw in and I finally found this one. It's a, if you know me, it's a cashin. It's actually a seven foot four. No, seven foot six, medium, heavy, moderate, fast. It's got a um, a nice tip on it, but it also has some backbone too, as you can see. It's got some actual good backbone where you can actually rip it out of the grass. That's what that was my trouble. I could not find a rod that I liked enough to where I could feel the bait, but then also get that being able to have the backbone to rip it out of the grass. In a kayak, it's hard to fish out of a kayak if you don't have the right rod for the technique. Definitely when you're ripping out of the grass because you got all the movement. And I've mentioned this in the last video. In a kayak, you have so many things that you're giving to that fish. You've got the line stretch, the rod stretch, and then more importantly, you got the kayak moving. So having the right rod is very important, definitely in a kayak. And it's important anywhere you go, really. And that's one thing I love about cashing is they have a wide range of rods that you can, and a wide range of prices 
where you can kind of figure out what rod works the best per technique. A few colors that I like to throw, you cannot go wrong with throwing a, a red lipless this time of year. Some kind of um, shad color like that. That's one of my favorites right here. It's an H2O Express. If you don't mean, if you don't know me, I'm on a budget like most everybody else. And these little H2O crankbaits and um, liplesses, they're really good. Now I do recommend changing the hooks out on them. Get you like some of the owner hooks. Little square bill number twos, number three square um, treble hooks. But for the price, I think these are around five, six dollars. You can't beat them. It's got a really good sound to it. And it's hard to beat this bait when you're on a tight budget like myself. So that's done my that's my number three bait. I'm not a huge fan of the lipless, but it catches fish. And I'm trying to teach y'all how to catch fish this time of month. So let's go to the bonus one. Alrighty. So you can't do a top three bait per March without adding a bonus one. So my favorite would have to be a big swim bait this time of year. These fish are pushing up shallow and kind of getting in that pre-spawn. They're gonna be feeding up a lot. So what better way to catch a giant than on a big swim bait? So my favorite way to fish one and my favorite swim bait to fish is a torrent six and a half inch thresher. And this is actually a six cents line through head. And I run a, I think it's a size three treble hook or maybe a size, no, it's size two. Um, but the most important thing with these line through, add a couple of little bobber stops. That way when it's, pull, when it's fishing, you don't pull that line and make this fold up a little bit. But this bait right here can, can produce some giant fish. I like fishing in around docks, points. You can fish this so many ways, so many places. Definitely with that hook being up top. I've fished it over tops of grass a lot too. And the bite that you get on these is crazy. It is so aggressive. And you never know when you set the hook if it's going to be a 12 incher or it's going to be a 25. You'll see me throwing this a lot more in the next few weeks on my videos. It's a fun little bait. And there's a couple of different ways you can rig it, but I have it on the line through. You can also rig it up on like an 8 aught underspin. My best, one of my good friends. Um, John Nelson does that a lot, who is the owner of Torn Outdoors. That's my go-to big swim bait. Another brand that is making a lot of headway this time is the Zal Dangerous. I like this bait too, and I do the same way, either rig it with the line through, or I'll just run a huge hook on it. And then um, they also have a loaded one that's like a mag draft. Um, you can use the you can get a mag draft it's a lot it's very similar in a lot of ways that is my bonus tip for this month a big swim bait bite is a real fun bite the only downside to a big swim bait bite you have to keep it in your hand so in a tournament aspect that can get a little nervous you can go all day and only catch five fish but those five fish are usually big that is my bonus tip is a big swim bait I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that is my top three baits and bonus bait for the month of March. And like I said in the beginning, this is one of my favorite months to fish. It can be so much fun. It can be challenging too, but it can be really fun. And this month is where the reaction style baits really come into play. And you don't have to just use these three baits, but these are my three favorite plus the extra bonus one to fish this time of year it can just be a fun way to fish i'm a reaction style bait guy anyway i keep moving i'll put my motor on 10 percent and just keep covering water and that's the best way to find them this time of year is just keep covering water fish different at different structures lay downs keep that side imaging going look for little odds and ends in the water and just fishing just keep on casting i hope you enjoyed i'm on the road to hit 500 subs my birthday is march 10th this video should be coming out on march 5th so hopefully we can get we got five more days to hit 500 subs if i can get 500 subs by march 10th i'm gonna go i'm gonna do a giveaway with all my sponsors so if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit it right now and 
If you have, thanks for subscribing. Um, leave in the comments below what's your favorite three baits for month for the month of March. See if some are like mine. And I love I like seeing other people's. We all like fishing different things. And it's always just cool to see what everybody has successes on. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and like, comment, subscribe for more. See y'all.